So let's use dot env module to move every kind of keys or environment related things into dot env file. So we need to load this uh, uh, module and how we can load it. It's not given how we can add it. So generally what happened the syntax is like use npm install so npm install and then at nux.js slash module name which is dot env. So let's enter and wait for it to complete. So very quickly the module is installed and now we need to add these modules to our module file. So here we have and now open nux.config.js and search for the modules which is here and now add that one. So here we have and next part is to create .env file. <laughs> so how we can add that it's very easy. You just create a .env file here at the root so I will say .env it's very easy we have here and now what, what I am going to do I will say whether app id is equal to not this one but I will cut it from here and paste it here so we have that here but one thing we need to do so we need to add the .env module or require .env module because we have just loaded on the next end but we need to require it also and how do I know these things again on the .env module at the bottom using .env file in nux.config.js we need to require it so copy that and we also have added on the module export so yeah it's here that's very easy and this means whenever I change something on nux.config.js we need to restart the server so this is okay we have loaded and we have moved this key but how we can access this key on our weather app so whenever you are going to do again on the documentation you can simply see yeah here we have process.env or context.env so here I will say process.env dot weather app ID simple so let's copy this from here and paste it on the server side end which is like this it's very easy and now it's compiling so when it is going to finish we will see the magic here so now server is started so let's go here on the chrome refresh this page and we have everything working absolutely fine and this means if i search for Hopal, yeah it's working absolutely fine and this means we have successfully moved our environment related things but why it's called environment related thing because whenever we are developing something we have some different environment and for the production we have different environment like for the payment system the stripe test keys are different and life key are different so that's why we are moving everything to .env file and one thing more is that we are going to add this .env to this uh, .git ignores so we are saying that okay move or remove so we are saying that uh, don't add this to git environment so that that's happening because we want we don't want this .env to be pushed at the server or at the repository of github so that's how we move from static data to the environment data and that's how we can complete this uh, weather app and that's very cool one thing more uh, why we have this script.js i think that's because of this app.html either we can delete it or we can remove it but uh, removing this doesn't make sense because it will be same as the original native uh, where is that i think on the view app.template.html it will be same so i'm going to delete this file so delete it and i will commit for this uh, episode but because of deletion i need to restart the server once more so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye